I already told you, I've got nothing to add to your arrest report, so you're basically wasting your time. Hey, I know how much you want to uh, punish yourself. I'm just not sure it's up to the taxpayers to furnish you with the means to do it. You got a lot of work to do, Vic. I ought to know, since it's my old desk you're doing it at. You know, it's funny you should bring that up. I was just thinking about how it felt the first time I sat at that desk. Like, how was I ever going to fill the shoes of the man who had been there before me? Really. A man I'd heard a lot about before I came to this precinct. And I heard a lot of stories about you, Castile. And I knew they couldn't be true because, man, I had made a lot of collars with a lot of good cops. And I pretty much divided them into two types. Either they were all style, getting a rush from the action, or they put the uniform on because they wanted to help people. And maybe that second group wasn't always willing to take the risks, but, well, they had heart. Anyway, when I got here, the first thing I noticed was my categories didn't fit you. You were this combination that uh, I thought didn't exist. And you made me mad, you know? Because I had to admit, after meeting you, that there was more to the job than, than I was giving it. You gave me something to... to look up to and I hated you do you remember I remember you hated me yeah oh well I wish I could hate you now because I think you'd take that over pity any day <laughs>